What's going on, YouTube? What's up, guys? How y'all feel today? So today we got like a double dose of special for you. We got some food as well as conversation. That's right. And it starts right now. What up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dion and Tony. It's your boy, Dion. Tony is here. Welcome to our world. You know it's not a show, but it's our life. That's right. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Okay. Tell a friend, bring a friend. Come New on. videos every Come Monday, on. Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Come on now. Okay? So, today, we got something special for you guys. We got something definitely special for you guys, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. You want to open up the second gear from Wendelin? Yes, Wendelin. Wendelin. We got the second gear. We got gear. it. We got it. We got it. So I picked it up today. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. From the bottom of our hearts. You know what I mean? Let's see. We love getting gifts. Y'all have P.O. Box here in the description below. Oh, let's see what this is. All right. Don't read anything. Just um, That's it. why I'm not. Ooh. 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 Come through, Wendelin. Come through. We like getting gifts. This is exciting. It's like Christmas. Oh! oh, oh. Really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it two of them or one? I don't know. Okay, so it says decoration lamp. It says love oh, and nice. hello. Oh. Okay, guys, this is what Wendelin got us. This says, you said it's an LED modeling lamp. One of them says hello, and the other one says love. Hello, okay? Awesome. Listen, very, 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 very excited about this. We really, really thank you from the That's bottom awesome. of our heart for thinking of us. And these are two words that I say a lot. Um, I always say love and I always say hello. So I guess it's the hello one because the hello is changed. Yeah, so this means a lot to me. So you know what? Better yet, let me oh bear with us guys. I don't want to break it. I want to make sure I pull in. It out correctly. Okay. Yeah, so it says hello. It says hello. Okay, guys. Look. I'm in love, Wendelin. I am so in love. Is it uh, no. actually? Yeah, we gotta probably plug get batteries or plug it up. Actually, did it come with a okay? Yes, it came with a USB cord. TV magic. Had to go get a charger right quick. Okay, you guys can't see this, well, but... I'm turn this down. Can you see that? We rocking and shit. Listen, Wendelin, <laughs> I want to say thank you for this hello, okay? <laughs> I'm going to cherish... Well, we are going to cherish exactly. this. Exactly. And I don't know where we're going to put it, but it's going to be somewhere in Renee's lounge. That you can see it. That you can see it when we do have like a um, a gathering Anything. or something like that. It's going you to know? be noticeable. The yeah. hello will be It's there. going to be nice. It's going to be Thank bright. you a lot. Appreciate this so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to cherish it. I promise you. All right, guys. So I also wanted to do the uh, 60th giveaway. Um, we did a video. It was Ashley's baby shower, I believe. Yes. And we at the end of it, we asked people to uh, enter their names. Yeah, it was Ashley. It was Ashley. Because yeah, it was like, yeah. it's a 60 video. Yeah. So we asked people to enter their names. And some people entered their names and other people just commented. So we just took all the people that did comment on that video. And we, you know, put them in a piece of paper. 
Got them in the Put cup. Put the names in there, bought them up. Got them in that solo cup. And I wrote them down. <laughs> okay. You know, we rock it. it. ain't no show. It's our life. I mean, but you know what? Everybody use them. Right. So what they talking about? So it's shaking all up. So Tony's going to pull the name. Why? The no. No, no, no. You're going to pull it this time because I pulled it the last time. And... Yeah, we're going to have the, the conscious on you. It ain't no conscious. Let's just let one pop up. First no, one pop up. Just dig in. Just dig, just dig on in. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And the lucky winner is, drum roll please. What are they winning? It's the 60th giveaway giveaway. 60th prize it's giveaway. 60th. We'll find out. We'll let them. We'll reach out to you. And let you know what you've won. How about that? Correct. And the winner is. Congratulations! You won the 60th. I'm like, why are you looking at it? 60th, because I wanted won. to make sure I wrote it right. Me Guys, this is not rigged. We promise you it's not rigged. This is on the piece of paper that he pulled. It is Misha. She is one of the members of the PICs. Uh, we all consider us, ourselves as the PICs, including Nikki, Dominique. So congratulations, Misha. We will be in touch. And Very guys, soon. listen, we're going to be doing these giveaways. And we don't have much. We definitely don't have much. But we think that with any channel give a give away when you feel like you can give away something exactly. it's, it's it's a good feeling and uh like i said we don't have much but the next one please please pay attention to the whole video please go through the whole video watch it in its entirety and you just never know it may pop up somewhere and tell you what to do got you that note you know as this as you know fully aware this is not. Well, let's take a little serious, right quick. We're gonna go. We're gonna go serious. So I'm gonna show y'all like a couple clips. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Good afternoon. Just an FYI, I am in Kaiser Urgent Care. I had pains in my stomach today, and I couldn't understand why. And early signs of pancreatitis. Um, I caught it early. I just did a uh, ultrasound. My gallbladder is full of gallstones, so they think it may be a stone might have shot over to the pancreas and it's blocking something or something or another. But they just giving me some medicine, some good drugs to feel better. And then I got to do an MRI later to see where we go from there. I just wanted to give y'all an update on mothers. Yes, they said at some point my gallbladder is going to have to be removed. Um, yeah, definitely because I caught it, they caught it early or whatever. So they take me through all the rigmarole. I had the CT. I had a, they made me throw up though. I had, um, they, they, they've been scanning me, blood work and stuff like that. that. Because of the blood work, that's when they saw the elevated increased numbers in the pancreas. So that's why they take me through this. They don't want to send me home right now because I don't. They don't want me to have a full-on pancreatic attack or whatever like that. So that's why they making sure I'm good. To you know whatever, but they did say eventually my gallbladder will have to be removed. Yeah. I'm like, all right, go ahead, make me skinny, but I'm going to Jamaica. <laughs> Still here, hungry as fuck. Um. MRI didn't show a blockage, like a gallstone that came out or anything like that. Um, waiting to see the doctor again. She, they took a test again to check the pancreas. Like when I came in here, the, the level was like 200 and something. But now, you know, I get my results through the Kaiser app and my my level is back to normal, it's in normal range. So I'm waiting to see what's the next step. I have an IV, hungry as fuck, 
I ain't had nothing all day. And I'm um, just waiting. Just waiting. So, guys, listen. So, this is like, it's not a show. It's our life. And I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. That was an uh, experience that was a scary experience. So, Monday... So, well, the weekend is when we do our, you know, we've been eating right, eating healthy, and just been doing what we we're supposed to do. I lost 20 pounds, by the way. Um, so, for over the weekend, we had, like, a free day. That was our day to eat as we please, because we don't want to, like, take that away from us, because we don't want to cheat and make things, yeah. you know, harder for us to lose or whatever to stay on track. So, on Sunday, it was Valentine's Day. We, we didn't really do much. We just had like odds and end things in the house that I guess were too fatty for my body. My body was just like, nah, I'm not feeling it. So I woke up Monday morning and came downstairs and then I started getting this feeling in like the middle of my stomach, upper abdomen and it's like went straight through my back. Like somebody hit you with a sword and it just went straight through through your back. Or something I don't know the feeling, but that's what it mentally felt like. Cause I felt the pain in both areas, so it was like it was hard, hard, very hard, extremely hard for me to. It like knocks the wind out of you. I was trying to calm down, get my thoughts together, get my feelings together. Like it was, it was a scary situation. It's one of those. It's, it's a constant reminder that I need to stay on track. I need to stay doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I don't need to. Like I'm getting older, getting up in age. I want to live, so I want to be around. And that was just a scary, extremely scary feeling to even endure. So that happened on Monday. So I was in the hospital Monday morning. Yep. I got to the hospital around about 10 a.m. And I didn't leave the hospital until 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. Tuesday morning. Yeah. And I got home around about 3. I, they was like, uh, do you want to stay? I said, nope, I sure don't. I'm hungry. You know what I mean? So it was just more so my mental of like, I want to get back home. I want to get back to my family. I want to, you know, I want to be here. Like I, so it was one of those scary things. So it's just the more the reality that we need to all, you know, stick to our plan, That's right. stay with our healthier lifestyle, and not free from it because tomorrow's not promised to no one. It's just a constant yeah. reminder that we're doing this out of love. We love you guys. We, and I'm trying. We try our best to be very transparent. That 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 was a situation. It was an isolated incident. What they very said scary. was very scary. What they guys. said was that basically I passed a gallstone. Now I have gallstones or whatever. Like it was they, just to kind of make a not a joke to it, but when they say you passed a gallstone, it didn't come out of your pee pee. It didn't come out of your your. It did. It went through my. It it was it was stuck. But then it started going through the digestive system. Okay, you so did then it say started that. breaking into You did say that. Yeah. Okay, so that's how a uh, gallstone, gallstone yeah. process happened. So yeah, okay. so it passed like once it went through, but it was a feeling that was like it knocks the wind out of you. So shout out to those who have kidney stones and gallstones and things like that. Yeah, it's a it's a powerful thing that knocks you in your butt. But I got through it, and I'm here on out. Healthier lifestyle, healthier changes, healthier choices. It just got. It just gotta be. It just has to stand. We're here to stay, and we just hope that life doesn't come in the way. Right. And we're gonna definitely go on this journey and stay on this journey. And like we said, come on along with us. Come on along with us. We need help just as much as probably you two guys. So this is serious. This is really serious. We're getting older. I always play and say we're getting younger. We're getting older. So it's time to take things a little bit more serious. Uh, pretty much get your life in order when it comes to eating clean and working out. Even if you don't want to do the extreme workout, go walking. Go walking. Go jogging. Just eat right. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Because this situation here, we've been woke. We've been doing what we're supposed to do. Right. but. This just was thrown in there. I'm like, what is going on? That's, like, that's the crazy thing about it. It's like I, it started. It started. And my body is waking up since we've been eating clean or doing everything right. We're not drinking. We're not putting all that unnecessary stuff well, in my body. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not drinking anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not Look, drinking. listen. <laughs> um, 
I found that, you know, from not drinking for 30 days that I don't really, I mean, of course I never craved it, but it would just be, it was a routine. And it was something that I would do pretty much every night, just have a cocktail. And so now that I'm back to drinking, I have found that I don't need it. I don't need to do it every day. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have one tonight. But that's only because... <laughs> you had one last night and you had one the weekend. So it's like I had one night. last night because I was stressing. <laughs> I was stressing. I had a really good reason I had one. And for real, for real, that wasn't even working. Mm. So, yeah. It was a scary situation that we went through. And we're just trying to be as transparent as possible. Like, because this is not a show. It's our life. So, we just wanted to keep you updated with our life. Like, this video was... Like, it's Tuesday night, and we're recording this for Wednesday's premiere. For Wednesday, tomorrow. For tomorrow. For, yes. for today, as you're watching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we recorded this last night for today, just because we wanted to make sure that it was updated and with the updated information. Like, we already have a video that's set to come out on Friday that, that we already recorded last week. But this was something we just wanted to do tonight, just to yeah. keep you updated, keep you informed, keep you on the loop to make sure that you were fully aware of where we at. Trying to be as transparent as possible. This is not a show. It's not a show. It's, it's our life. And we have a merch store. All right, so check this, guys. So we actually working on our merch store. Um, everything's still in the beta testing. You guys, you want to call yeah. it the beta testing? So we, you know, sent out. Some we ordered. Questions. We, we ordered. I'm sorry. We sent out. We ordered some samples, yeah. and we're waiting for the samples to come in to see how they fit, see how they look, to see if it's something that we want to just put our name on out. So before we actually put it in the description and give you the link to it, let us try it out. We want Yeah, we want to definitely try it out. And make sure that the quality is up to our standards. That's right. But definitely, it's definitely coming soon. Just waiting for the merch to come in. And we can go from there. Once they come, we'll let you know. So on that note, we're going to shoot upstairs and we're going to make you some... Um, some delicious stuff. Bell peppers. Y'all ready for that? It's part of our meal prep. We come on. Do it. Come so on. we're going to go do some come on. stuffed bell peppers. Come on. And check it out right after this. Here we go. All right, guys. So we're back. All um, right, all right, all right. They know we're back. But guess what? We got a show for y'all, okay? We got a show for y'all. Let me let y'all know first what we are cooking today. Stuffed bell peppers. And it's, it's like a show. You know, one of those shows where you see them people on the stage and they be getting undressed for you and they go here and they take it off and you be like, oh, oh, and you be throwing dollars and stuff like that. All right, so what I mean by that, let's start off with the ingredients. You understand what I'm saying when, I, when we start, okay? We want to start with the ingredients here, okay? So, the main ingredient is the bell peppers, hey. okay? This is the main ingredient. These are good as hell, guys. I don't know if you guys normally cook with green peppers, but whatever dish that it goes in, we like to put them in a lot of times, okay? And we just stuck with the green ones. Keep it simple. Matter of fact, I think they was even more on sale. They were cheaper. Good. All right. So then we're going to add the jejoie into the green peppers, which this is raw ground turkey. How many pounds? Two is pounds. It? Two pounds. Okay. Then we have mushrooms, of course. We're trying to jizz it up. Listen, your meals don't have to be born when you're eating healthy. Mm -hmm. So just know that you can put different things in to your liking right. and, and make it taste good. Okay? All right. We have tomatoes that tomatoes we need to going dice up and put yes. in there as well. We've had these in the fridge and so we didn't know what to do with them. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the meal. So go ahead and stuff it in there. All right. And then. Wild rice. This is the 90 second uh, wild rice that we're gonna put in the microwave just to heat it up for 90 seconds. Yep, yep. And we'll go ahead and stuff those in there, okay? Mix it all in. And of course you got the seasonings, the garlic, the thyme, the garlic, stuff know. like that that we're just gonna kick it up and we're gonna mix it with a little uh, reduced fat mozzarella because you know, gotta be healthy from here on out. That's right. So let's get started, guys. 
So, what is the first step? So now, Tony's about to brown the meat. Get the meat out of the brown up. And then I'm gonna slice up the tomatoes and mushrooms in the meantime to get that prep ready to get tossed in there. Okay, first, you wanna oil your pan, get that preheated before you put your ground turkey in. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw in some garlic. We like some garlic. Right. Next, we're going to put red onions into the pot, into the pan rather. I've been saying that on a lot of videos and then I'll look back and I'm like, Tony, why are you calling it a pot when it's actually a frying pan? Okay. They're gonna go ahead and mix that around, get that all nice and seasoned. In the meantime, I'm about to rinse and wash the peppers, get those cut open, and get those ready to be stuck. All right, guys, so just letting you know, we did season the garlic and the onions with a couple of things. And look, I'm using my new garlic sea salt grinder. All right, so now we're about to add in mushrooms. All right, guys, so as you can see, we added onions, garlic, and now mushrooms. And I'm just giving it a little more seasoning. Forgot about the mushrooms, actually, and Dion reminded me that we were putting these in here and I would have seasoned all of it together, but it's okay. This is life. It's this not a show. Definitely life. But yeah, you wanna get these all nice and sauteed. And usually if you had like some white wine, cooking, cooking wine, you can put that, toss that in right now and reduce that a bit to give you some extra flavor. But we ain't doing all that. So we're just gonna cook this down some, season it as we go, taste as we go, and then we're gonna add the ground turkey and get that all nice and brown. Be back. All right, so now that those cooked down some, we're gonna take those out, remove those from the pan, and heat that pan back up, then add the ground turkey, and then add it back afterwards. In the meantime, I'm prepping the green peppers. What I'm doing is I'm taking the green peppers Slicing the thin layer off the top. Well, first I see if they stand up. If they don't stand up, like that one barely stands up. So I'm, I'm gonna take a small layer off at the bottom. Small layer off at the bottom just to lay them, get them upright. And once they stand upright, then I'm gonna take the cap off the top and clean it out real good, rinse them, get all the insides out, and then stand them on the pan. All right, so on this side, we got all the... The mushroom caps ready to be filled. And then Tony's about to put a little bit more olive oil in and then toss that brown turkey. Wait. No. Oh. No. Oh. Season a little bit more. Put a little bit more garlic. We'll get that going. And then we're going to add the brown turkey to this, the ground turkey, to this and brown it on out. Okay, guys. So I'm going to just play this a little bit for y'all. Okay, so the, the intro to the main event was the mushrooms and onions and garlic, which was mushroom and onion and gahi, right? They was like the opening act, right, to the whole show. So now this is where it really, really, really gets well, or gets good, rather. So as the garlic gives the smoke machine effect as you can see here you know it's getting the stage ready for our girl look <laughs> y'all want to know our girl name bring her to the stage huh <laughs> bring her to the goddamn stage <laughs> pinky y'all like pinky 
All right, guys. So with the now that the green peppers are already prepped, they're all ready to go, ready to be stuffed. Um, the tops of them here, I'm that was about to dice them up to add them to Tony's ground turkey as he ground them up, and then we're gonna add the rest of the stuff back in. So be back. All right. So now that the brown, the ground meat is getting up pretty brown, we're gonna throw in the diced peppers into his mixture. I rough chop some, dice some. I want to taste them. So, those are the green peppers. So, we're going to let that continue to cook down. Then, we're going to add the other vegetables. That's that money. That money, money. That money, money that's sprinkling on that damn piggy. Okay. Okay, I just added some of those dice. Uh, tomatoes in there, diced up some tomatoes. I hope some of the whole tomatoes we had. Um, should I dice a little bit more? We have two more left. No, I think that's cool. I don't think we need to be tomato, tomato we. Right. Guys, so, remember to put your own seasonings, your own liking. Season as you go. To your liking is what I meant. So now we're going to drain this a little bit, add the other vegetables, then add the tomato sauce. Be back. All right, so now that's that color, that flavor. We just added, drained it a little bit, added the mushrooms and onions to it, and now we're gonna stir it around a little bit, cook it down a little bit more. All right, so he's seasoning as he go. He tasted it out some more. You know, needs a little bit more. Salt, guys, just a little bit more. And to that, we're gonna add one of the cans of the tomato sauce. No salt added. Of course, we're gonna rinse it a little bit, get all our juice out. No, we don't need to do that. You sure? Yeah, it's gonna make it watery, right? So, all right, well, we can keep it thick. Good. Getting all that mixed all in. In the meantime, I'm gonna add. Uh, heat up the brown rice so we can go. I mean, the wild rice so we can add that in. All right, so the rice just came out. About to open this up, pour the rice in. All right, guys, so we just added that in. Looking real good. Go ahead and taste it, huh? Taste as we go. All right, so now it's nice and seasoned. We're gonna add some mozzarella, mozzarella. Y'all like that? And we're gonna stir it up. Stir it up, then we're gonna stuff a pepper. Be back at you. Good and good, you see this? So now we're gonna stuff the peppers. Get them all good and stuff with all the good, goodness, goodness, and goodness. You know, and we're going to do that for all of them. It's okay if some of them fall out. It's all right. It's above me now. Now that the stuff, the peppers are stuffed, we're going to top them off with a little bit more mozzarella. Just to give them, you know, whatever. Mozzarella. Mozzarella, you get it. Cheese. Well, that is how you mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. Top a little cheese. Not too much. You know what I mean? And then we're gonna cover popping in the oven for about 30 minutes. And let them big ones cook. And let the cook, let the pepper get soft and all that good stuff. All of that mixture, all of that. And we already told you the oven is set for 350. Preheated. So we'll be back when it pop back in. All right, so the bell peppers have been in the oven for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. They've been, I covered them up. A little more than 30. Can I, can I finish? Oh, I got this. I covered them up and put them in the oven for 30 minutes. Then I took the cover off and then popped them back in there for an additional 20. Mm -hmm. So now we're about to take it out of the oven and you're going to see what it looks like. Y'all ready? Smells so good. One on the tail. Yep. 
Check it out, check it out, check it out. So here is the finished product, guys. And so... One of them filled over, but it's all right. Silly old Dion. Not to blame everything on Dion, but he didn't make enough for us to actually taste it in the peppers. So we do still have the mixture. Wait, wait. Why did you say Silly old Dion? Why did, why did you say Silly old Dion when... We, we didn't buy enough peppers, so I didn't make enough. Oh, you We right. didn't buy enough peppers. You're right. Don't say silly old Dion, they do nothing. Cause you went grocery shopping too, boo. Yeah, you are right. All right, guys. We just realized that we only have enough for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the stuffed peppers, right? So we still have some mixture that's left. So we're gonna give you a taste of that and let you know what that tastes like. And hopefully they taste as good in those peppers when we try them when we at lunch or when we eat our snack, okay? All right, so here we go. Here it is. We gotta go and taste this mixture. We don't even have a plate or anything ready. Somebody is never, never ready. All right, guys, so we have some mixture that was left over that didn't fit into the pepper. So we're gonna taste test that as opposed to messing up a whole pepper when it goes for our lunch, you know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna eat this out. You know, you can see the steam and everything coming from it. We're gonna top it off with uh, with what? With some Tabasco sauce, right? Just to give it that extra kick, like so, like that. We're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, roll it, roll it, and then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna sprinkle some of this on there. So I'm a Tabasco. Oh. <laughs> oh, you oh you. Mm. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I got Tabasco from Be Love. Like she always uh, use it a lot of times. So I was like, oh, let me go and buy some. And I started to fall in love with it. So we're gonna try it out. Did you sprinkle all of it in? All right. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Let's go. That hot sauce gives that extra kick. You like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like that? Listen, guys. So we got here some wild rice, mushrooms, red onions, green peppers, tomatoes, and some Tabasco sauce on this bligum. And some fat-free mozzarella cheese. And some fat-free mozzarella cheese. I forgot all about that. Thanks, babe. Listen. Can't go wrong. So just imagine what it is like in the stuffed pepper. Mm -hmm. We are ready to dig in tomorrow for our snack. But for in the meantime, lunch. well, that's for my snack. It's my lunch. In the meantime, we can go ahead and finish this little plate on up. You know, it ain't nothing really on here. Uh, and uh, we will see y'all. That's your snack. See you in the next video. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, tell a friend, bring a friend. Mm. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. Mm. Just letting you know it's not a show, it's our life. Our life revolves around many yeah. different aspects of it. But we're just trying to give it to you all. Hey. Peace by peace, one by one by one. <laughs> <laughs> peace out. We love, love you guys. Peace out.